All right, we're back with number eight. Again, we're pounding away here at the supply and demand curves. It's important because it's just going to be the basis for everything we're going to do in the rest of the book here, really. Uh, microeconomics focuses in intensely on supply and demand shifts. All right, number eight. Which of the following changes would not shift the demand curve for a good or service? Again, would not shift the demand curve. All right. So a change in income. Would a change in income shift demand? Yes, it would. Why? Because, again, you've measured two things here. You've measured quantity and you've measured price of this particular good, good X. And a movement along this curve is going to be caused by a change in price. All right? Everything else is going to shift the curve. So what did they give us? They said a change in income. Well, a change in income, if it's a normal good, will cause the demand curve to shift out if you increase income. And if you decrease income and it's a normal good, it will cause the demand curve to shift in. So a change in income is going to definitely shift the demand curve. That's not the correct answer. A change in the price of the good or service. And this, this really messes students up. Students think, well, if I change the price, it must mean because the demand curve shifted. No. If you change the price of this good, all you do is move along the curve. All right? If you decrease price, you go, certainly quantity demanded increases. There's no question. We go from Q2 to Q1. There's an increase in quantity demanded. But it's a movement along the curve. If I increase price, price goes this way, I'll move this way, up the curve. You'll see a decrease in quantity demanded, as you'd expect, all right? But, again, it's a movement along the curve. The curve has not shifted. None of the factors, everything else that affects this particular demand curve is being held constant. The only thing that's moving is the price and that's to, of this particular good, which is causing us to move along the demand curve. Let's look at B, or C, I mean. A change in expectations about the future price of the good or service. Well, if there's a change in expectations, it's going to change, it's going to cause the whole curve to shift. Why? All right. Let's say, for example, this is the price of cars. And you expect the price of cars to rise because the price of steel is going up or the steel workers are on strike or something like that. Well, if you expect that, then everyone's going to go out and buy a car today, which is going to shift the demand curve for cars because they expect the price to rise in the future. Equally well, for example, if you expect the price to fall in the future of cars because we're in a recession or something like that, then that would cause a decrease in demand today because you're, you're going to hold out and wait to basically buy your car later, which actually explains much of what's going on in the housing market, right? A lot of people are waiting to see if they can get a better price for their house because they expect the price to rise in the future. They don't think it can go much lower. Truth be told, it probably can go lower. So anyway, because of that, because they're waiting, they're not really ready to put their house in the market, and the housing market seems a little bit stuck right now. All right, last one. A change in the price of a related good or service. A change in the price. So let's say this is hot dogs. And this is a demand curve for hot dogs, price of hot dogs. And I go and increase the price of hamburgers. If you figure those two are substitutes, you'd see an increase in the demand for hot dogs. So again, if I in change the price of a related good, it's going to affect this. A related good, you should... The words sub substitutes and complements should easily come to your head. So we have substitutes for our particular good. In case of hot dogs, I used hamburgers. And a complement to hot dogs would be something like mustard, right? So if the price of mustard soared, you must have mustard on your hot dog, the demand for hot dogs would shift in because mustard became so expensive. And so that market for mustard would affect the demand and the market for hot dogs. All right, so just to review, our answer here is B, all right? Which of the following would not shift the demand curve for a good or service? It's the, good, it's the price of the good itself that doesn't shift the curve, just causes a movement along the curve. All right, we've done number eight. We can uh, stop here, take a break. We'll come back for number nine.